Y'all, I made it to Paris, back at the apartment. First of all, there has been some changes. They painted the whole thing. It's like a really crisp white. There's this like euphoria and like familiarity of being here. I already feel like energized Loki, i have not slept i think i only slept like an hour and a half technically it's two in the morning or three in the morning in la in order for me to beat like the you no know, the terminology i tend to stay up the whole 24 hours about to sleep regular time here it's, it looks like it said on my thing it was gonna be really cloudy and rainy it's kind of like la weather it's a little bit cold you know those cloudy la days it's kind of like that i cannot believe i'm back i am first of all hungry to unpack y'all so i'm thinking i'm gonna unpack shower i'm gonna try to do that as quick as possible i want to get out of these clothes that i've been in all day i'm officially back in france in paris wow so exciting so Let's unpack. I brought these because I just like a quick dinner. So we're gonna try with these. Can you believe I fit all my shoes in here? I brought pads with me because the girl will be on her rack here. And all those toilet shoes. My purses, and we have our jackets. I forget how squeaky the apartment is, especially the rooms and the living room. But here we're putting all the jackets and like dresses. I'll say when I left LA, the whole week, beautiful sunny weather, not too hot, not too cold. So I was just like, ah, why? I think I know my way around this time, so I kind of have an idea of like how to spend my days. But I'll be here by myself for two weeks and then my friend's gonna meet me here and then Luis will meet me the following week. So yeah, it's gonna go quick. This month's gonna go quick. Hearing the bell and it tells you literally the time. Like, hey, it's top of the hour or it's every 30 minutes. Are you one of those people that need to unpack right away or you leave your stuff in the luggage? Because, I mean, I'm here for like a month and I, 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 I like to unpack everything. I'm just, I just do. Time to unpack these ones. Which, what I like to do, I like to pack my stuff half and half because I'm always afraid I'm going to lose my check-in bag just in case I if I did lose it I had clothes already in my carry-on um, but usually it all gets your safe some bottoms here some tops tops go in the different section on the top I'm gonna fix that literally okay toiletries camera Okay, so it is now 2.30. I have to get going. And I just learned that the 1st of May, which is tomorrow, is a holiday. So a lot of the stores are going to be closed. So I am hitting up a lot of stores. I'm going to the City Pharma, get dinner, and then chill. But I'm wearing a blazer with my striped pants and these fun bedazzled things. And then I'm wearing my bedazzled crossbody. Hopefully you can see. It's cute. Oh, I just finished washing, air drying, but yeah, let me get my AirPods and we'll get going. back y'all it is 20 minutes before 6 which is like almost close to 9 a.m i wanted to make it back here before 6 because i wanted to post a photo that i took for instagram i just came up the stairs holding groceries in two little bags and um i remember i'm gonna be buff after this but anyways i thought i'd show you a little grocery haul first of all 
I love chips, and these are my favorite ones here, these Lay's. They're considered savory spicy. So freaking good. Every time I come back, I have to get them. For breakfast, I like to have yogurt. So I have this vanilla Alpo. Alpo. I went to the Care 4. The Care 4 is cool because they do have like a whole section that's just like that says vegetarian and vegan. Um, so I usually just go through that section. This granola for the yogurt. I saw this strawberry one. I've never tried the strawberry one. So I'm interested to see how that's going to taste. Got some blueberries uh, and bananas. The bananas were not ready. So just until the bananas are ready, I'll use the blueberries. I got butter. So what I like to do, I like to butter my vegetables and like make butter pasta. So I got this. <laughs> and then I also got tofu. Tofu that is already herbed. So I think this fried with some butter. Broccoli and zucchinis are like my favorite vegetable. I put that in everything. So I got two of that. I got a water, this one, and then a Vena drink. <laughs> it's pretty much it. I will say these last me like two days each. So it, it's about like four breakfasts. This is probably going to be two dinners. That is the groceries. I did go to the city farm that your girl spent today. But it's because I had to like refill my um, card. I have I have one of these and I had to refill it for the month. That costs like 86 euro. And then I find out they're like, oh, it starts tomorrow. It's all of May. I'm like, uh, okay. There's obviously cheaper ones. I think there's like student ones that make it more affordable. But I mean, I'm here for the, like, I'm not a student. So, I mean, I got this one to zone five. So it's great to get back to the airport and stuff like that if you're going outside of Paris. So I went to City Pharma. Y'all, you saw how crazy packed that thing was? It was like packed. I was like, maybe because it's not like fully summer yet, it wouldn't be busy. It was still really busy. I did talk to one of like the pharmacists there and I was just kind of telling them what I was interested in and they helped me out. First thing I wanted to get because I didn't bring like a face wash and then when I get when I go home I'm probably gonna take another one of these the one back in the states is not the same like the formula is not the same so I'm definitely gonna get some of those before I leave so I wanted this like famous um, cream but every time I go it it's always sold out I asked her about that she's like try this one it's kind of similar but yeah it's like a hydrating liquid leaves a glow so she recommended this one because the other one is always sold out and then i told her that i have like a pimple it will it's like one of those pimples where it comes from the bottom it's all the acne that i've been getting in my stomach but then i've been researching it it's not acne it's another form of eczema and it's always when i'm sweating and tight fitting clothing and they start as just little bumps like then they get like more prominent i asked her about that and she told me to get this one i asked her for another eczema cream which is this one. i'm gonna put this away i think i'm gonna call Luis. Cause I think he's up. Look, I'm gonna FaceTime with Louie. He's walking the dogs. So we've been chatting for like, what? Like 30 minutes or so? And then he's gonna go to work. But he showed me the dogs. It looks really nice and sunny. Is it hot? Yeah, it's kinda hot. We're gonna fill the flowers. I paid nine euro for this, which Trader Joe's, I think I get better flowers for nine euro. Either way, the cheapest that I found in France. So we filled up these vases. I'm gonna take my flowers. I love that little place because they truly just make a bouquet for you. To have fresh flowers. This one I have to do really short. Oh. I didn't get that many flowers. I should have gotten more. That way there was plethora. Cute. Okay. I think that works. It would have made one bouquet, but I think next time I'll just get like an another little bunch. I don't know where to put them. I like having one in the room. Like here might be heavy 
and then I was talking to Luis and I was laying in the bed and I was falling asleep and it's barely 7 so I'm like girl you gotta make it to like 11 at least I don't know if I still want to eat out I'm too lazy to go out anywhere though I might just do cook for sure such a perfect day to be at the gardens it's it well, I mean it's kind of cloudy but the weather I mean I feel hot I took off my blazer it feels like in the 70s even though it says it's like 60s again maybe I just run hot too though but I'm like I'm enjoying it so much there's slightly sun coming out and just how wonderful it is to be outside and appreciate actually time to be outside with other people in these like big public spaces the leisure time and like how it's very communal and also very easy to like meet up with friends and like catch up real quick at a park have lunch that's actually what i did i have a, i had some lunch here read a book but I'm falling asleep <laughs> that's how relaxed I am um I didn't sleep a lot either last night I think I'm gonna journal for a little bit hang out and then I think I might get another coffee after this I don't know if I have any other plans for today it's kind of usually go with the flow see how it is but yeah so far so good hey friends so it's been a couple days since I been vlogging the last two days I kind of went out during the day to do like little errands oh i was editing yeah i'm editing today's friday may 3rd and i'm meeting emma i met emma last time i was here he was towards the end of my trip i thought we were meeting at six and then she texted me at four saying she was there and i was like oh my gosh i i got the times wrong in her way now um we're meeting at a cafe and then we're gonna go to the louvre because the Louvre's free first Friday of the month. It is pretty sunny, but it's still cold, so I'm gonna be wearing my trench. Dress in a trench. Let's head out again. I am so late. It takes about 25 minutes. So I cleaned up and then I made a mess again. But let's get going. Where, where, where? Histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois. Cherchant l'impossible, elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée d'avancer solo, de poser sur quelques mots, accompagnée d'un petit mm, roulé avec son pincet, tandis un certain homme de. We're heading to the flea market. It's 
started to rain and wearing all white. Let's go. What's up, besties? It is currently six. Had a very fun and long day. I really spent the whole Sunday with Marin, and she was just showing me around and we went to different flea markets, different cafes. Talking about cafes, the last one we went to was the Land of Monkeys, which y'all know your girl loves. <laughs> I ended up getting a lot of bread. I got like two pounds of chocolate. Venus, I can't say what it's called but it's this kind of bread that I love. And then I was like, oh my God, I should have got a cinnamon roll because I just saw it. And then Marin gets me a cinnamon roll and our meal came with like another dessert. So I have a cookie. I have a lot of sweets, a lot of bread, but I, I love it. I love sweets and bread. So I know I'll eat it in the next couple days. We had such a lovely day going to the flea markets. I wanted to show you what I ended up thrifting at the flea markets. I think I only bought yeah, I only bought three things. I spent like 15 year old. First thing I bought was this ring. Y'all, me and the flea markets, I think I really like getting jewelry at the flea markets and sometimes clothes. I found this ring, which I thought was cool. I really liked, I don't know what it is lately with me. I really like this like organic kind of looking jewelry. I don't know if you see on the sides, it kind of looks like that. And it's supposed to be like this, but your girl got a uh, big, big, um, they're big. <laughs> but I've also seen stuff like this and they like cross them. So this one, you know, you could pretty much open it. It's kind of flexible. So there was this other jewelry place, so cute. There was these cute earrings, like stunning, just stunning. And they had them on top of a little stand that said 35 euro and I was like okay I'm I love I like them because it has like a mother of pearl gold vershemi I believe and stuff so then I was gonna do PayPal and then she showed me the amount to PayPal it's not 35 euro <laughs> and she ended up saying that it was 50 euros for those earrings and I'm like oh okay it's because of the mother of pearl and quality handmade great but I just uh, for 50 euro for earrings, I just wasn't like, you know, just not in my market. So I ended up leaving that, but they also had like 5 euro jewelry and I found this ring. So really nice. Again, I'll put their Instagram because they have really cute jewelry. Well, I love this one because it's a floral and it's also one of those that, you know, you can open it and it'll fit in multiple places. Statement jewelry. So as you can see, all my hands have been filled a lot with rings. And I saw this star. I've always had this idea of getting this star, which is a Dior star. I think you get it with like when you order, I don't know, their makeup bags or something, or even like probably if you get a purse from them. I've always wanted this star because I thought it'd be so cool as a necklace. And I saw it there and it was like five euros. So I was like, 
perfect. So now I have the little Dior star. I added this chain. I thought I brought more gold chain, but I was able just to fit into this one. It's just one of those things that I've been wanting to get for a while, didn't think about it. I even think maybe liked it on Poshmark and stuff. And I got it. <laughs> so yeah, so those are the pieces that I got at the flea market. And then Marin showed me how to get stuff on Vented. Um, without having to like ship it to the apartment because that was something I was nervous about. I was like, oh my god, what if they ship it and I'm not here? But she showed me how to get it shipped to like the closest post office to you. So I'm excited <laughs> to be checking on Vinted. I wanted to take this time to clean up the, the apartment. It's Sunday, which I usually like to do things like this on Sunday. I mean, I feel like I've been out all day. I... I think it's time for me to just like <laughs> clean up and then I'll probably make dinner and like call it a night. The apartment has gotten messy. I think it's just in the mornings like I'm in a rush. I watch Formula One so the Formula One races today. So I'll probably end up watching that. I sh actually should be starting soon. 